بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شاہلی صدری و یسر علی امری واہل الختم اللسانی یفقہ قولی پریشر ان لیکوڈز بیسیکلی اف وی ار گوئنگ ٹو میجر دا پریشر اف لیکوڈز دین اٹ از بیسیکلی ڈیو ٹو دا لیکوڈ کالم ریمبر دس وین ایور وی ار گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا پریشر اف لیکوڈ یو ول ہیو ٹو سی دیٹ دا ہائٹ اف دا لیکوڈ ڈینسٹی اف دا لیکوڈ اینڈ دا ویلیو اف اسمال جی وچ از کالڈ دا گریویٹیشنل فیلڈ اسٹرینتھ its value is 9.8 meter per second uh, 9.8 meter per second square or uh, 10 meter per second square if we are talking about gravitation field strength then we can say that 9.8 newton per kg or 9. Point, or 10 newton per kg the value of small g well so remember whenever we are going to find out the pressure of the liquid then the pressure of the liquid depends upon the density of the liquid multiply the value of small g and the height of the liquid column these are the main things over which the pressure of the liquid depends so where g is the gravitation field descent or acceleration due to gravity you know it better symbolically we we can write down that uh, pressure of the liquid is equal to this is looking like uh, pgh but it is not pgh basically so here i am going to write down that what is this the pressure of the liquid pressure of the liquid liquid is equal to rho gh this is called rho it is looking like p but we say rho which is representing the density of the liquid rho gh so symbolically we can write rho gh rho gh is the formula for the pressure of the liquid and remember that here the density of liquid is represented by this rho here uh, when you can see that here p is equal to it is looking like p so it is not p it is rho gh uh, another very important thing that the pressure of liquid is uh, directly proportional to the density if we are talking about the pressure of the liquid so you must be aware of that the pressure of the liquid is directly proportional pressure of the liquid is directly proportional to the density of the liquid which is represented by rho rho is representing the density of the liquid so greater the density greater will be the pressure of liquid and now another thing that pressure of liquid is also directly proportional directly proportional to the value of g it mean if the value of g is higher then the pressure of liquid will be higher for example if you are on earth you know that on the earth we take the value of g 9.8 newton per kg or 10 newton per kg so depending on the on earth we can take this value if you are on moon obviously the value of g will be taking uh, will be taken according to the moon so uh, at moon this value will be according to moon gravitation field strength so according to that you will have to uh, take the value of g another thing that the pressure of the liquid is directly proportional to the height h h is the height of the liquid column if i am talking about the height of the liquid column let us suppose that i am considering a cylinder like this suppose this is a cylinder in the cylinder suppose we are taking a liquid if this is the liquid up to a certain height so if we have to find out the height of this liquid then we have to see the pressure at this point the pressure at this point we have to see where at the bottom if we are talking about at the bottom then whatever the liquid is above this level so height of the liquid mean the height of the liquid upper level till the level at which you are going to find out the pressure so at this point find the pressure at this point the pressure will be equal to rho the density of the liquid and the g and the height this height of the liquid and if you are talking about uh, uh, the pressure of the liquid at this level suppose if you are going to find out the pressure at this level then you will have to take this height say this is h1 then we will have to take this height so at this level the liquid above that that this uh... now let us have an example 
let us consider a tank like if i am taking the example of a water tank in the water tank i am taking nozzles at different levels okay these are the opening in the liquid tank here i am showing any liquid here you can see this is a liquid which is filled in this tank now what you will observe at certain levels uh, uh, there is uh, there are different step from the lowest step you can see that the height of the liquid height of the liquid for this lowest step is this say this is h1 this is the height of the liquid for this step so here you can see this height till this level is the largest height for this water container so here the pressure of the liquid will be highest so from here you will observe that water will be um, flowing out with a greatest pressure now if we are talking about this then we will have to see this level the height above this level height above this level say this is h2 so here the pressure will be due to this height okay if we are talking about this pressure and you know that the uh, density of the liquid say it is the rho and the g is also constant so if we are talking about the pressure at this level then we can find out that pressure is equal to rho g h1 here i am just giving you the example to better for the better understanding h1 is the height which is above this level so if you are going to find out pressure here say it is p1 to distinguish it from other pressure i am saying that it is p1 that it is rho g h1 this is the pressure at this level now if i am talking about the pressure at this level then this will be lesser than that previous pressure why it will be lesser than because here you can see that the height above this level is lesser than this okay because h2 is lesser than h1 so here if you are going to find out the pressure at this level you can see that say it is p2 then this is rho rho g h2 okay so rho is representing the density in the same way the third level if we are talking about this level then you will have to see the height above this level say this is h3 and then again if you are going to find out the uh, pressure at this level which will be the least amongst these three this will be the least pressure so this will this pressure p3 say this will be rho g h3 so here you can see that the height above that level listen to me very carefully that height above that level ab uh, above which you are going to find out the pressure here this height will be considered so here you can see that the lower level in the lowest level the height was maximum so this pressure will be the maximum and this will be the least pressure because the height above this level is least so this will be the least pressure to discuss this pressure due to liquid column depends on height of the liquid first of all the pressure due to liquid depends on the height of the liquid h gravitation free resistant g and density of the liquid rho pressure due to liquid column does not depend on shape of the container remember this the pressure of the liquid does not depend on the shape of the container whatever the shape of the container is only what will affect the height and the liquid height of the liquid and the density of the liquid and uh, the g and cro no and cross section area of the container or surface area of the liquid these are the factors which will not affect remember these factors because these are the factors which will not uh, affect okay okay so pressure due to liquid column does not depend remember this fact 
doesn't depend on shape of the container and cross section area of the container and surface area of the liquid. These are the factors over which the pressure of the liquid doesn't depend. On horizontal level of the liquid, at every point, the pressure is the same. On horizontal level of the liquid, remember, uh, listen to me and be care very carefully. He is saying that on horizontal level of the liquid, at every point, the pressure is the same. What does it mean? I am telling you. First of all, let me write, uh, tell you the fifth one. If the pressure is applied to any point on the surface of the liquid, that pressure is transmitted throughout the liquid. And then liquids are virtually incompressible. These are the properties which you must remember related to the pressure of the liquid. Now here, you can see that I have made a container which is connected at the bottom. Now this container is having a liquid at the same horizontal level, at the same horizontal level. So if you are going to take the pressure at this point, suppose at this point, or you are at the same level, you are going to find out the pressure at this. And in the same level, if you are going to find out the pressure of this. So the pressure of the liquid will be the same at, at this level because at this level, the height is the same. This height is the same, horizontal level. This horizontal level is the same for all the three shapes of the container. If this horizontal level is the same, then the pressure of the liquid will not be affected. So what is this property? Here we have, read this property on the horizontal level of the liquid at every point the pressure is the same okay as i told you that the pressure of the liquid depends upon the height of the liquid well now the next property is if the pressure is applied at any point on the surface of the liquid that pressure is transmitted throughout the liquid now to understand this uh, you can see that uh, if you have a syringe type uh, thing for example say this is a piston if you have a piston of a syringe like this and uh, there is a plunger here if there is a liquid in the syringe you can do this experiment at home also and if you have closed this opening if you are making different holes here at this level at certain levels if you are making the holes at certain levels in the syringe with the help of the needle, if you can make certain holes of the same sizes uh, in the uh, in the syringe, and then if you will apply the uh, force on this piston of the syringe, then you will see that from e from all the holes, the liquid will be flowing with the same pressure. Okay, because you are uh, applying a pressure from the upper, and that pressure will be transmitted to all sides of the liquid. So it is said that if you are applying, if the pressure is applied to any point on the surface of the liquid, that pressure is transmitted throughout the liquid. So to observe this fact, you can use a syringe and you can make the holes. You can close this and put some water in it, apply the force, then you will observe that the water will come with the same uh, pressure. I'm explaining this. This is a syringe. The opening of the syringe is closed. This is the plunger of the spring there is a liquid in the syringe. You can have water in the syringe. Okay. Now, suppose at the same level, you have made some holes. Suppose these are the four holes at the same level. Now, the height is the same. If you are talking about the height, then you can see that if the syringe is lying like this, as I have shown, this is lying horizontally. If it is lying horizontally, then there is no difference between the levels of these holes. Now, if you apply the force, you are applying the force on the surface of the liquid, then what will happen? Whatever the pressure is being exerted on the liquid, that pressure will be distributed to all sides of this syringe. First of all, I am telling you that whatever the pressure you are exerting on the liquid, that pressure will be transmitted to all sides of the container of the liquid, okay, container. So as a result, what you will observe, how you can prove, how you can observe that the liquid, uh, the pressure on the liquid is distributed to all sides, we will observe this and we can prove that from all the holes, you will see that water will 
come with the same pressure if the all if all the holes are of the same size na then you will observe that the water will come out with the same pressure from all the holes because you are pressing this you are pressing the liquid okay when you are pressing the liquid then these all holes from these all holes of uh, liquid will come with the same pressure this will prove that whatever the pressure you are exerting on a liquid that pressure is equally transmitted to all side of the liquid to the uh, pressure is transmitted throughout the liquid because that pressure whatever the pressure you are exerting on the syringe that pressure will be transmitted throughout the liquid and how we can prove we will see that from each hole which will be of the same size these holes must be of the same size so from these holes you will observe that the water will come out with the same pressure okay i hope now the last point that liquids are virtually incompressible why the liquids are incompressible remember this if we are talking about the liquid molecules then you must be aware of this that there are very negligible uh, intermolecular spaces between the liquid molecules there are very really small spaces between the liquid molecules okay almost uh, their molecular arrangement is nearer to the solid but in the solid you can see that in the solid the molecules of the solids are arranged in a definite manner or in a definite uh, arrangement there is the definite arrangement of the solid molecules but in the liquid the molecules are not arranged in a definite it is just like uh, marbles in a container so just like marble in the container can be uh disturbed here and there in the same way the liquid molecules also can be disturbed so because the liquid molecules don't have enough spaces between them so liquids are incompressible practically